On behalf of the EFDD, you've got two minutes, Mr Etheridge. Thank you. Tax harmonisation, an attack on the principles of competition and national sovereignty. Of course, if you can eradicate competition, you can raise taxes all across the EU, which is actually what you want to do. You seek to rush in this new, fiendishly complex scheme, so it may even affect the UK during the dreaded transitional period. The committee even wants to reduce the threshold for this from 750 million a year down to zero over a seven year period. We need simpler taxes that can be set at a national level and encourage competition, not an effort to stifle competition. By removing the chance for nation states to compete on tax, you inevitably increase tax levels and make us all less competitive. What is the impact of this? Companies fleeing the high tax regulation filled EU could move elsewhere. Smaller EU countries, which currently manage to actually prop up their economies by being competitive on tax, such as Ireland, will be penalised. And of course, when tax is increased, the whole economy of all of the EU will be suppressed and held down by this wet blanket of desire to control and to tax all the time. I hope that the UK adopts a very competitive position on corporation tax policy post-Brexit. I'd like to see us competing as an island off the coast of the EU that gives a real competitive advantage to business, that says we want you here, we want wealth creators here, we are a friendly nation to people who want to make money, and we are not like the EU, which is addicted to endless taxation so they can spend on huge schemes. We in the UK should favour business, growth and employment.